Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order, and it's time for our next episode in the Ultra Sun playthrough here, Pokemon Ultra Sun, here on the channel. In the last episode, if you didn't miss, or if you didn't miss that, if you did miss that and didn't check it out, we took on the trial of a Cerola down there in the abandoned site of the Thrifty Mega Mart, dealing with the Totem Mimikyu. Did quite well against it as well. So with the completion of another trial, we healed a Pokemon's injury. We then uh, put a Pokemon away, and you'll see that the uh, layout here, bit of a uh, team switch up, and we did some grinding as you just saw. We got the team up to about level four. What is it? No, 39. I aimed for, and you're probably noticing something missing from the layout. The downside is we got our sixth injury on Robin Hoot, our starting Pokemon, our Decidueye. With six injuries, he has to be put away. Thanks for the uh, vote of confidence there, Pelipper, in the background, if you didn't hear that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the really vexing thing about it was, it was the last Pokemon we needed to beat up and get experience for, for our Decidueye to level up. And it was a Haunter that went with the Shadow Ball. Admittedly, I should have switched out you know, into something that could take that hit better, but I didn't expect the Shadow Ball to do that much damage. So, Robin Hood is gone. We have an empty space on the team, but I'm going to let you guys give some feedback on who you want to see added to the team before I put one on myself, because we did just add another Pokemon from your recommendations during yesterday's live stream. We'll take a look right now, and I believe he is in the active spot right here. It is Lordantis, our totem-sized Lorantis, given to us by Alolan Oak. The ability is Leaf Guard. He's holding the Muscle Band, and I did some move tutoring for some of these Pokémon. We have Leaf Blade, Leech Life, Low Sweep, and Synthesis on Lord Antis. Next is Beauty Fin, our level 39 Luminion, with a Storm Drain ability holding Expert Belt. Moves our Water Pulse, Signal Beam, Icy Wind, and Aqua Ring. Next, we've got Echo, our level 39 Crobat. Inner focus for the ability, holding the Scope Lens with Poison Fang, Aerial Ace, Giga Drain, and Confuse Ray. Next is Ghosty, our level 39 Phantom with the Natural Cure ability, holding Evil Light, and the moveset is Seed Bomb, Shadow Claw, Will O Wisp, and Forest Curse. Last but not least is Polarize, our level 40 Magnezone, who did level up a bit above the others because we're using him to take on some. Uh, Crow, or sorry, Golbat we were fighting in the Thrifty Mega Mart. Magnet Pull ability holding onto the Zoom Lens with Flash Cannon, Charge Beam, Tri-Attack, and Metal Sound. So now that we are done with that trial, as Rotom says, 
Another trial cleared and completed. Z -z -z and I helped out, right? Right? Anyway, let's head back to the Aether House. We're gonna go talk to Acerola or Lily or whoever or whatever. I don't know. So, maybe just before I do that, let me go back here to the computer. Go to the uh, PC. Show you who we have in our collection that you guys can... Were they here before? That we can show you who's in our team or in our collection. We can possibly replace Robin Hoot with here in... Oh, there's box number two. So there's some Pokemon we caught last time. We have Crystal... I just noticed my Ultra Sun logo is blocking the names. But anyway, Crystal, the Furlish, we have Destruction, the Magikarp, the Collector, the Klefki, and Chill Hood, the Snow Run. But also, we've got a whole bunch of Pokemon in this box as well. So if you see any Pokemon you'd like to see added to our team, feel free to pause the video, take a look at all the Pokemon. Let me know who you'd like to see added. Or you can wait and see who we're going to get as we get some more encounters in this episode. And I'll hold off on doing the nicknaming until you guys have a chance to throw some feedback. Quite a few professors, yada yada. Scientist guy named Colrus. Okay. I did talk to you already. They just seemed like they were out of place where they were moving and like, you know, talking back and forth. So let us head on up to the Aether House and see what the next part of this adventure is going to be. We kind of already remember from our Pokemon Moon playthrough, but you know, things could be different this time around. Who even knows? They seem kind of similar. How? I was talking with Plumeria and some Team Skulls. What's going on here? Let me get involved. And there's Acerola. Back so soon, hmm? I wasn't expecting you just yet. It takes these dumb grunts way too long to deal with you kids. So I guess it's my turn now. Whoa, How says. What? I told you before. Next time you get in our way, I'm not holding anything back. All right, let's take on Plumeria with some pretty decent admin music. I like it. Let's take her down and save the day. Challenge by Team Skull Admin Plumeria. Because where's Lily? Is she still safe inside? Gorbat. Well, we've got ourselves a totem size Lorantis coming in. Can you deal with this? I'm going to say maybe. Because Lorantis did have Slash during the training. And a little worried about being able to battle well. This is your first real battle on screen. And it's not even a battle. We're switching you out. Let's go into... I think... Well, let's show you what a real bat is all about. A real bat battle, if you will. Echo is coming in. We're going to echo your attacks right back at you. You're going to poison fang me? You're going to wing attack me? Well, we got something better than wing attack. It's called aerial ace, which is same power, but... Never misses. I thought your ring attack is going to miss and it's fully accurate. But I mean, if we could, uh... Not take so much damage, that would be great. Why are you hitting us harder? We're higher level. Well, we got Icy Wind we can deal with, uh, with our... Beauty Fin. Wow, that thing hits hard. Did I buy items? I think I bought items for healing. And guess what? It's time for another yawn. Why am I always so sleepy recording these? Granted, it is almost 1 a.m. I want to make sure I have this video ready for you guys. Wow, this thing hits hard. Is it holding an item? Might be. So, I'm just going to heal. Let's go with a nice old super potion. Now, I don't think we have max affection yet with our little Luminion here, so I don't think we're going to be able to dodge any attacks anytime soon. Not quite. And I'm not sure if we're fast yet, so I'm going to go for another Super Potion. I'd like to sort of make sure we'll not go, or we're, we'll not going to get defeated. Because I think Plumeria also has Salandit, and if we could land it with a Water Pulse, I would appreciate that. Speaking of Water Pulse, let's do it. Now we're quicker. Nice. One nicey win is all it takes to slow this thing down enough that we have speed, we water pulse it, we take down, so land it as it comes in, and we level up along the way. Can we learn something like Hydro Super Pump? No. But in comes. Never mind. It's not so landed anymore. It's a Lazzle. We had one up till the last episode. Sadly, Candy had the most. Ah, it's gonna hurt. Candy had the most injuries on the team. point of completing the trial, so we had to put her away. Huh. 
Uh, wait, I was going to send in our steel type totally immune to poison, but weak to fire. So, Beauty Fan, you got to stay in and take a hyper potion. We don't have any. I didn't buy items. I got max potions. I got four. Definitely. I just want to go back to the Pokemon Center and buy some stuff. Well, I can probably wait till I get to the next Pokemon Center. So we're going to get to make use of some Sharpedo Surf. Dang, that hurts. Here's my idea. Polarize. Kind of our only hope. Okay, so you're not going to hit us with your sludge bomb. You're not going to use a fire move. You're not predicting this at all. There we go. Problem is, we're going to take a pretty bad fire move. There ain't no way we're going to outspeed a Salazzle. I gotta do something. I can't sit here staring at the screen. Let's try. Try attack. Who was our fastest Pokemon? That speed 117. Oops. Definitely going to be Echo. We need you, Echo. Get in here and hope to drop this thing immediately with an aerial ace. How is it faster? Well, we have a chance. I believe Ghosty is max affection. Ghosty might be able to tough out a hit. Might also dodge a hit. Here comes our new Lord Antis. Here's what I gotta do. Lorantis has to take a hit. I've got to heal up our beauty pen. At least Lorantis' sacrifice is not in vain because beauty fin provided you don't take a critical sludge bomb which would be way too much insult added to injury right now. We'll take this thing down with a water pulse. You just had to land the poison on us too, didn't ya? DIDN'T YA! Goodbye, Plumeria! I suddenly don't like your song that much anymore! I can't even stand you right now. Alright, let's take care of that poison, shall we? What a fun day this is already! And we're good. Alright, you know what you deserve? You deserve this. And you level up your affection. Nice. Alright, so I'm kind of at a loss for words. You saw what happened. Stop moving your fin! Come on. So each one of these Pokemon takes an injury marker. You're only Plumeria. You're not supposed to be tough. <laughs> Guess you are pretty tough. Now I understand why my grunts waste so much time battling kids. But if you want us to return the Pokemon, then you have to come to us. Alone. The boss is dying to meet you. <laughs> See you at our base in Po Town. I already met your boss. There's no need to knock out my Pokemon games in the way. You're so cool, yeah. Ugh. Battles you can't afford to lose aren't any fun. Hey, are you guys okay? Could you check on my guys, please? My young goose. We can't forgive this. Darn it, those numbskulls actually did something pretty clever for once. If we want to get the Pokemon back, 
then Chaz has to go to Poe Town all alone with no backup? That's what they said, but that's not fair. Team Skull has taken over Poe Town. It's basically their private playground now. Oh, I know. If you're gonna go, though, try to find this guy on Route 15 who's wearing a kimono. He might be able to help you get to Poe Town. He knows a whole lot about Pokemon that can travel across the water. Here, take this. Just just get my young, boo young goose back for me. I don't even know its name. Rare candy. Oh, thanks, I guess. I mean, I don't use them, but... Those Team Skull Goons are more terrifying than ghost-type Pokemon. You're a ghost-type Pokemon. Anyways. Pokemon being abducted like that. Maybe even hurt. I just can't stand the idea. Chaz, please, help them. Help who? My Pokemon? Ow, that battle. Alright. Oh, that's only your first. That is, uh, only your second. That is, uh, your fourth. And your fourth. Okay, then. We're gonna go back and heal up, of course. But, let's just talk to everybody here first. Nothing's gonna trigger. There's no battles. Nebby, can you help me out? No. Alright, thanks. You're gonna help us, aren't you? You're strong, right? Kinda. Don't look at that last battle, for example. Team Skull has da 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 da. All right, yada yada. I gotta go find. What's the guy's name again? I feel so alone and scared without my Pokemon. I can't sleep at night without her. I I'm sorry, Chaz. It's my fault. Now you've got to put yourself in danger because I couldn't stop them. Oh, you were here when it happened? You loser! I lose all my Pokemon. No, that wasn't his fault. It was Plumeria. All right, let's head back. Let's heal. Why can't I use the Charizard that I'm flying around on as a battle Pokemon? Why can't I just add that to my team? Right? Wouldn't it be something if all the Pokemon we ride around on have, like, they probably do have no battle training experience whatsoever. That's why they're not used for battles. Like, because you wouldn't... Look at Charizard. You wouldn't take a, a flaming dragon and reserve it as just flying around if it could actually battle. What if they're actually Pokemon that have some sort of uh, hindrance on them or something. Like, what if this Charizard could not breathe fire? And that's why they don't use it for battle. Making use of the Pokemon that otherwise have less usefulness, I guess. I'm curious, do you say anything? I think I already spoke to you. Alright, the team is healed up and injured up. Let's go talk to... I'm trying to check my brain, my puzzle. I'm trying to figure out... No, trying to puzzle my brain. See, I can't even speak right. I'm trying to see what that guy's name is. Something to do with, like, is it... Starts with an M? His name is Morbid. A trial goer, huh? And why would you be coming to a lonely old place like this? I gotta get Team Skull. Uh-huh. I see you've got your reasons. Then, oh, Grimsley. Uh, then I'll take you on. Tell me, Uncle Grimsley is going to flip a coin. Will it be heads or tails? Why is neither an option? I can't remember what I said last time. I'm going to assume this might be a two-headed coin kind of thing. I'm going to say heads. Astonishing. You just took a stab like some kind of prophet. Right now, you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. A loss is a loss. You didn't even check it. I'll give you Sharpedo's info for your ride pager then. Ride it to victory. I'll do just that. Could I dodge them better in the Amantine Surf, by the way? Maybe you don't need to hear this from me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. If you press B while riding on Sharpedo there, it'll JET forward and smash through rocks like those ones there. And here's a bit more unwanted advice. Poe Town lies at the other end of Route 16 here, but it's thoroughly occupied by Team Skull. You shouldn't go there unless you want trouble. And make it double! Sorry, that's Team Rocket. When is Team Rocket gonna come back in the in Pokemon world, you know? Oh wait. I uh, guess we don't have a choice. We need to go head to Poe Town on Sharpedo's back. You're just scared because it's dark type. If somebody wins a battle, then without doubt, somebody else has lost the battle. That's the way of battle. I hope I might battle you someday. What are you a battle, man? 
All right, so we have a chance to get an encounter on this route to sort of make up for all the Pokemon we've been losing. Let's uh, get Lapras off here. Let's go with Sharpedo Jet on this one. All right, we have an encounter. Do we get a surf encounter? Sorry. Or do I go for fishing? Oh, wait. Right, Sharpedo scares him away. Hello. I'm working to be the best in the world at swimming. Help me! Train. How do I help you train? Why are you attacking me in a battle? Wait, are you trying to train yourself to be able to focus on a battle while swimming? Because you're actually standing on top of the water. I don't think I can help you. You've already, you've already gone so far beyond what I could possibly teach you. I've only heard of one other person able to do what you're doing right now. Alright, let's go with our nice Leaf Blade. Are you gonna waterfall me, really? You think you're gonna flinch out my Lord Antis? You're right! That's gonna happen. But not a second time. Because they're gonna Fury Attack like a fool. You should have used Peck Attack. If I had a chance. You're Skill Link. You're not Skill Link. You're Leaf Bladed. <laughs> now, does Leaf Blade move slower, it seems? I don't know. I thought it might have been moving slower than I was expecting. Because uh, maybe Lord Antis is... Oh, I gotta show you something, too. Because Lord Antis is a totem size. But let me show you something crazy. I didn't think any of this... Or I didn't think anything of this when you guys suggested... Or I think it was Anderson that... Uh, was it Anderson that suggested? No, a bunch of you suggested adding uh, Lord Antis to the team. It was uh, Anderson where regular viewers had suggested the nickname. But I didn't really think this would happen. I need more muscle to swim across all the seas of Alola. You could also just set your sights a little bit lower, too. All the seas is quite a lot. It's like that guy that wants to read every book in the world. How are you going to do that? I guess Polyrath has the best muscles for swimming. All right, let me do the Pokemon Refresh. This is wild. That is not wild. That is Beautyfin. No offense, Beautyfin, but you're not who we want to take a look at right now. i got to show you our Lord Antis. Now, first of all, it's going to look weird because the screens are broken up, but... Lord Antis takes up two screens, all right? Now, we're going to move up here. We're going to give you a little scratch on the uh, antenna. It's your favorite spot. Listen to this. I'm going to be quiet as we feed Lord Antis a Poke Bean. That sounds like when a Gyarados eats a Poke Bean. Check it out. It just wolfs it down in a single bite. That is crazy. How you doing down there? Oh, you're happy. Sweet. Awesome. Alright, so we're getting the affection boosted up nicely. <sighs> Alright, so that's one trainer down. Probably a whole bunch more to go on this route. What encounter can... I don't want to do Pokemon Refresh. No, I'm sorry. I don't... Sorry to drag you back in here like this. Let's just uh, pretend that didn't happen. Alright. What is our first encounter going to be? If I do see another bubble spot, I'm going to hop off of our Sharpedo and go into Lapras instead. Let's go! Sharpedo Jet! Oh, it's hard to control. Oh, wait, I know a trick with this, too. If you let go of the B button, you can turn, like, on a dime. Look at this. But I want to see... Let's do this. I want to be able to swap from one to the other. Oh, wait, hang on. I want to set Lapras. Let's go down here on uh, our Stoutland. So I want to be able to see if I can find a bubbly water spot. If I find one before a wild encounter, then I'll go for that uh, fishing encounter. So, never mind. Well, wait. This could be a duplicate. It is a duplicate. We already had a Finneon. Of course, we already have Lin or Luminion on the team as it is. So i got to walk away from this encounter, because if I knock it out, that counts as the first encounter. So forget that. Let's see if we can get ourselves a new species. I see a rock up there. Do we see any bubbly fishy spots? No. So let's go ahead and bust these rocks down. Oh wait, what's up here? Is this where we're going to find bubble spot? Hang on. I'm going for the encounter. Uh, no, that's not a bubble spot. That's a swimmer. Never mind. But we're supposed to get uh, the TM for acrobatics, I believe, I think Unknown Spike said on this route. Or is it 16? I don't know. We'll find out. No matter how good you are at surfing, you can't ride the waves on the stormy sea. Don't fight the waves. you got to ride with them. Just watch out for the whale lord popping out of them. I like that, though. It's cool. I didn't expect to see a giant whale lord come out of one of those waves. 
Now, I've gone through... Actually, I have learned some better skills on the Mantine Surfing. Apparently, I've been clicking the control stick or the circle pad too fast. If you take your time with it, you can get much higher points with your uh, skills. Is this thing going to wing attack me? Probably is. I'm going to leaf blade it regardless. Or you're going to air slash. You're not going to flinch out my totem Mantis. Who do you think you are? Flinchy McGee? Yeah, that's right. Of course, uh, we got to switch out though, because that hurt. Let's go into... Echo. Wait, yeah, Echo. So, in a way, it's kind of not the worst thing, having lost our Decidueye. And I say lost, I mean temporarily placed away. Because we already have, we've had two Ghost Grass types on the team for quite a while, so that is like doubling up on every one of their weaknesses. Being able to sort of keep the weaknesses more balanced kind of helps. Of course, we just added a Grass type to make up for the Grass type that we have lost, so... You still have those weaknesses doubled up, and Mantine used to surf. What are the odds? Let's just take this thing down. Aerial Ace is bad. Give me the Acrobatics TM. If I can get Acrobatics on our uh, Crobat, would I want that? Because I kind of like the uh, Scope Lens. Not that we've really been getting many critical hits. I don't think about it. Haze. Yes, I want Haze. What don't we? I don't use Confuse Ray. Haze will be good against Totem Pokemon. Get rid of all their stat boosts. Which means I gotta keep Echo safe, because if he gets the most injuries after the last, uh, the next trial, he gets put away. Let's learn Sweet Scent. I don't think we need that. I gotta keep the old moves. If only Sweet Scent would still bring out L or, uh, Horde Battle, that'd be sweet. Subwaves are too big for anyone to ride. Except for Whalord. In fact, they're probably caused by Whalord. Alright, we gotta dry up our Kirobat. Get Echo nice and tidied up. I wanted to see them do something like this for Pokemon Go, like for your buddy system. Maybe the Pokemon gets, you know, muddy, walking around, stuff, you can clean them up, maybe get Stardust or something. I still gotta write this nice, lengthy letter to Niantic. Not that they probably can take my ideas. Hey, Chaz, heal your Pokemon! I'm doing it! Rotom, man! Okay, we got a couple of super. Eh, one super, one super. And let's do a regular potion, we'll use those up too. Oh, we got a new berry, hang on. I did some, uh, oh, we got a couple new berries. I went around to some of the berry trees to pick up some berries so I can keep, you know, growing new ones and stuff. Does someone need refresh? Oh, you're hungry. I'm sorry. I didn't even think. Here, I'm saying we got to keep Echo, you know, safe and stuff, and I'm neglecting you. Here. Here, have a blue. Don't be sad. Don't be blue. Have a blue bean. I'll tell you what. Have a, have a yellow bean. I didn't mean to be mean and not feed you a bean. There we go. All right. I think we're good. Okay, so did we talk to this guy again yet? Maybe he'll give us acrobatics. I mean, what kind of self-respecting surfer does not know the or have the TM for acrobatics, right? Mantine surfer something else, too. Watching people be so in tune with a mantine, riding waves as if they're dancing. I should kind of show you that, actually. What is this? This was like a... One of those empty lots in the sun and moon. I want to head back and help that, uh... Incineroar. We just got the TM for acrobatics. And a sticker. Everybody, ride the wave with Surf Association. Wait, did I... Did I even check out the Surf Association back in Hey Hey City? I think I forgot to do so many things. I do have to go back. I think they say you can get something for, uh, high scores. Hello, Corsola. Corsola! Or... Lip. I just can't forget that sunset. It was such a brief moment in time, but I want to see it again. It was like the sun was on fire as it sank down beneath the waves. The sun kind of is on fire, actually. You know about it, don't you? You must. The mythical Over the Gyarados. It was a trick that this legendary surfer did once. Oh, but he was loved by both the sea and the mantine themselves. There's no one left who knows how to do it anymore, though. I know how to Magikarp splash. Does that count? I didn't know Magic Harvest Splash actually has good points to it if you use it once and only once during a, a Mantine Surf. I want to show you another Mantine Surf before the end of this. I'll do that, but first things first. We're going to head on over to the Battle Royal Dome because we have a Tigrudo to talk to. We've got Acrobatics to help you out. Take down all those Machamp. Even the Polyrath that you're probably fighting lately, too. Why Polyrath? I don't know. 
Maybe Hariyama. Because I remember what those two balloons are outside here. Uh -huh. But I was thinking Polyrath because of uh, water-type weakness as well. Alright. If only had the TM for acrobatics, and you'd stand a chance against Machamp. Would you look at that? You've got the TM for acrobatics right there, don't you? You can use the TM as many times as you want, so would you use it on Tigrudo? Sure. <laughs> I'd prefer not to. Great, thanks. There you go, buddy. Tigrudo learned acrobatics. It's in a roar. Nice. All right, looks like he's ready to go now. Watch me have to fight him later. Here, let me give you something to say thanks. I don't think I like that. Eh, time to practice perfects acrobatics. It'll be a beauty. Roar. He's ready now. Look at him just strutting away. Because the power belt, I believe, what is it? it lowers speed, but it boosts one of your, uh, you know, stats as you're leveling up. Lowers the defense to stat. Defense to stat, yeah. Defense to stat, grow better, yes. English is fun. Clearly not my, uh, first choice of learnedness. So where else do I want to go? I want to go here. Nope, not here. I want to go to Hey Hey City to check out this Surf Association. Was there another one anywhere? Maybe back on Melee Melee Island? I don't remember seeing one. If there is one, feel free to remind me in the comments. But let's see what you have to say about my skills. Can I show you my high scores? <sighs> is the question. I really love to see an unbelievable Manti and skill... I really love to be able... I'd really love to see an unbelievable Mantine Surfer, skilled enough to take the top ranked spot in every one of Alola's four surf spots. So there are four. I thought there might have only been three. Blah, 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 blah. Surfing Pikachu? Pikachu! Alright, so there's one more surf spot. I don't know where it would be on Pony Island, because checking the map, I mean, I guess it could just technically be uh, up here. But I don't see anywhere where they would teach you moves, like move tutors. I don't know. And what's this? This is like an em No, this is a house now. This was an empty lot. Right here that I'm tapping with my arrow. See it right there? Yeah, that's about there. I believe that was one of the empty lots. But as we see in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, they've turned those lots into something else. It makes you wonder. Was it something... Like, were they considering maybe making DLC for Sun and Moon? to uh, put these places in those spots or did they finally realize like maybe it was too complex to like have as a downloaded patch kind of thing and they just decided to add them in to these new games uh, anyway let's heal up since we did do some battling we'll continue our adventure with the Sharpedo jet we still didn't get an encounter technically on that uh, route yet on we go we still have what is it 20 hey, oh boy 20, 25 minutes left, I think. Which is good, because obviously I am starting to fall asleep. Who's over here? Let's go. Are you faster than me running? I don't think you are. I only have Toros ready for this. But let's just go. We're already here. Now, where are the stickers? I haven't seen the sticker in a long time, it feels like. Alright, Sharpedo Jet Time. From one dashing Pokemon to another. Oh, found us an item. What is it? We got a star piece. Nice. 50% more stardust for 30 minutes. Alright, next encounter is going to be another duplicate. So we gotta walk away from this one. Alright, no, I should be on the Lapras so I don't scare away any of the uh, bubble spots. Level 35. Not bad for possible training purposes. Alright, come on, let's find us. Some bubble spot. I apologize for all my yawning. Maybe I shouldn't do uh, videos when it's this late at night. But, I mean, I gotta get stuff ready for you guys. We need to see this. Did I just hear bubbles? Might have been that swimmer. Are there really no fishing spots here? Well, this could be the new encounter that we're looking for, though. No, we already have a tentacool. We can ignore this. We're not going to find anything, are we? I think... No, wait, there's grass. If I remember properly. Oh, come on. We can't get away from this thing. If we can't run, we'll have to fight it. And that counts as our encounter. No, we're leaving. Thanks. 
Maybe I should leave with someone fast. Should, let's put Echo in the front. Probably a good idea. I could also add a smoke ball to our Lorantis, but... Actually, since I opened up the box, or the bag, let's see. Do we have the, uh, smoke ball? Why do we not have a smoke ball yet? Okay then, let's move Echo to the front, as we were going to do before the bag opened itself up. I'm blaming the bag. Now, onward we go. See, I hear the bubbles. That must be like the you know, background sound effects, though. I know there's a surfer up here, or a swimmer. Let's get some more experience, I suppose. You're gonna fully experience my water-based tactics. I should bring Ghosty in. Ghosty needs to level up. Yeah, and so, I was posing the question. We have our Phantom, and there was a trainer in the Tapu Village Pokemon Center that said he would like to trade his Phantom for my Phantom. And I was like, do we do it? Because, you know, currently, within the confines of this game, just by myself, I can't evolve Ghosty up into uh, Trevenant. But... If I, have, if I traded Ghosty for that uh, other guy's Phantom, then we could get a Trevor. But our Ghosty's been through so much, how could we do that? So, who was it? I think Ricky Gamer in the last uh, the live stream mentioned this. I could trade with one of you folks. And you can just do like the trade back. Which is an option. You can do that as an idea, but I'm the kind of person... I don't mind keeping Pokemon unevolved sometimes. Like the Eviolite, look how much that's doing for us. Not really that much. We got Poison, and... Some decent damage was dealt our way. But, like, I'm okay with Pokemon being, you know, small like this. Uh, I think the Poison Jab knocks us out, so let's go for a Super Potion here. Sometimes I just like the little Pokemon as they are, because look how cute, like... Trevenant is cool looking, not to say that it's not, but... Oh, come on, you're gonna barrier? I guess I'm gonna have to get a Critical Shadow Claw on you now, then. Oh, and there goes the poison. Excellent. I gotta love Pokemon Refresh. Let's go. Shadow Claw away. See if we can drop this thing. I could also burn it, actually. I'm gonna burn this thing. Because it'll do less damage with its poison jabs. And those accursed barriers are gonna make things slower as it is anyway. Let's go for a slow defeat of this thing. Water-based tactics? You've used one water move. What are those water-based tactics, really? All right, let's Shadow Claw once again. Aim for the critical. Now that it's within range of getting knocked out regardless, watch, it's gonna get a critical hit. I'm okay with that. The sooner we knock this thing out, the better we can move on. That wasn't critical. Since it's gonna faint to the burn and it's gonna hit us regardless of what we do, I wanna just use the forest curse. I wanna see the big trees growing out of the water. Poison jab, no damage, you've been burned. No poison either, thank you. Look how creepy that looks. I mean, it's not really, it's not that it looks creepy, but the sound that goes with it has a creep factor to it. Nice job, Ghosty, we gotta take care of you though. Bubble, 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 I sink and I dive. Aren't those kind of the same thing though? I don't know, I'm not a swimmer. I've mentioned before, I never learned how to swim. Simply because, when I was maybe two or three, I forget how old I was, but I fell in a pool, pretty deep pool, and that gave me this weird sort of uh, anxiety kind of thing with like, if water touches the back of my head in a certain way, it, you know, I lose my breath and I just have a sudden like moment of panic and fear and stuff, so it's like, I never really thought too much of the water, but we're not the best friends. My swim trunks are out of respect for Machamp. Really? Who needs refreshment now? I gotta feed you guys. Oh man. I'm a terrible trainer. I was gonna feed them after I uh, did the grinding and stuff like that and did my surfing, but I wanted to wait because I wanted to show you guys the uh, how the Lorantis eats, the giant size, like, hum, kind of sound effect. So I thought, oh, I'll feed you later. I didn't realize they were this starving. There we go. A couple beans for you, buddy. Let's continue until the next one gets hungry. Probably one battle and they'll get, uh, they'll be starving. So where can we find ourselves an encounter? Also, we gotta use some potions, I believe? 
Yeah, let's use a couple regulars for our little phantom. Ghosty, almost back to full. That's good. Okay, let's get us an encounter, hopefully. I don't see any fishy spots. I might actually just want to avoid. Yeah, I don't want to get a fishing encounter. I don't want to get a uh, surfing encounter. I want to get a grass encounter. Let's go. Oh, wait. Sometimes breaking rocks brings Pokemon out. I don't know if it counts for that in the water as well, though. But let's just take a chance. Or this could be the encounter here. We don't have... Oh, wait. Technically, we have Wingull. So I can ignore this encounter also. Now, I'm not sure how that would count Nuzlocke style. Like, we haven't caught a wild Wingull. But they have joined us from the Pelago. So, as far as this playthrough goes, I'm considering the fact that I have Wingull in the Pokedex already as being like a species clause, which means I can ignore the evolved forms. Do you think a standard Nuzlocke would actually do that? Or would I have had to catch that Pelipper? I don't know. What have I walked in on? Clearly exercise. Uh, hey, you got us an item. Dive ball. Cool. But yeah, there is grass right up above us, so we can get the encounter up there instead. Trainer tips. If you collect lots of different kinds of berries, try playing them on island, the Pelipper, Isle of Plenty, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know about that. Let's do some battling. Double battle. Abs! Abs! That's what they are. When I get in the ocean, I get pricked by Corsola or Puku Muku. I mean, that's not a, the worst thing, I guess. It's almost like I've heard, uh... Who was it? I was watching somebody. And they said that the moment, like, uh... Seaweed touches their leg, they immediately assume it's like a shark and they panic. I think I was watching someone on YouTube who said that. I can't recall now at all, though, unfortunately. So we got a couple of Frillish. Nothing super effective right here. Well, I am a complete liar. My brain's not functioning because I'm so sleepy. Giga Drain is super effective. And everything else here is not very effective. Let's use Aqua Ring. We haven't used that ever, I don't think. Too bad you can't use it on your teammate or Probably not. This can do a lot of damage. A signal beam to cause confusion, maybe. Ominous Wind. Don't boost your stats, thank you. Oh, don't do this combo. Hey, wait, do this combo. I'll take that Storm Drain boost. <laughs> of course, all of our all of our Luminion's moves are not very effective, though. So, I'm pretty sure Aqua Ring does not work like this. I'm just going to give it a try, though. Let's go with... Well, we're going to fight. I guess we can Giga Drain this one. Now, does Aqua Ring actually do that? No, just yourself. I had a feeling. So, let's go with... Signal Beam. No, this Frillish. Keep using that Surf Attack. I would love that. Looks like their defenses are pretty much the same. If we keep healing up, though, I'll take that. Signal Beam? Picking up Confusion, maybe? And hardly doing it. Actually, Confusion, but yeah, hardly doing any damage. Oh, so now you're going to switch it up. You're going to go with uh, the other combo. No? Okay, just going to try to use two ominous winds. That's fine. we got healing for both Pokemon now, too. we got Giga Drain and the Aqua Ring. So bear with me. This is going to be a long, kind of a drawn-out battle. I could easily end it by switching... I could, yeah. I was going to say, I could bring in Ghosty, but... Oh, no, we're weak to Ominous Wind. Wait, I've got a Totem Lorantis just waiting in the wings. If needed. It might not be needed. I'm just afraid they're going to get that stat boost. Well, if they do, that's not the worst thing, because we have recently learned Haze. I don't think about it. Now that my mind is not so much in a Haze. Yeah, we're going to drop this foolish. And we're going to signal beam this foolish. Can we possibly get a critical signal beam? Which probably still isn't enough damage, but who knows? Never know. We'll take this thing down. As you're watching this episode, I'm probably out doing some Pokemon going. See if I can find myself maybe another shiny raid boss. Probably not. I think my luck for shinies 
not has not you know run out, but I always like to think they say there's like a one in what is it four thousand some chance to find shiny Pokemon nowadays. It's like not to say that every four thousand Pokemon is going to be shiny, but I like to think that my luck for you know my current batch of four thousand has been used up. So like, let's say I encounter four thousand Pokemon and the three thousand five hundred one is shiny. That could be within five, or sorry, 50 more encounters. I could find a new shiny, because that could be the shiny of that next 4,000. And I know that's not how it works, but it's just how I like to think. All right, we have gotten soaking wet. We are drenched. We're going to heal up Echo, and I guess I'm not going to be mean. I'm going to give you a bean while we're here, because you're probably going to be asking for one soon enough. Let's give you a nice... we got plenty of these orangey ones. Eat up, big guy. There we go. I kind of like the way we're doing this playthrough, because you never know which Pokemon is going to be taken away from us next. Because if I was working at that only by getting all six injuries, would they be gone? We would have had the same team for a long time, but things keep mixing up, which I like. Keeping things fresh. If you go on a date at the beach, you can see your girl's swimsuit. That is a good point. That's what I was thinking, but my girl's been training the whole time. You still see it, though, is the thing. Pokemon stick to me just like Shelter biting down on Slowbro's tail. That sounds very painful. Actually, no. If you are like the Slowbro, you don't feel a thing. At least not right away. So we've got us. A good number of Pokemon hanging out down there. Another battle. I like experience. Hehe, <laughs> I'm not a mermaid. I'm a Pokemon trainer in a bikini. Technically... Mermaids aren't in bikinis either, because if you consider the fact that their lower half is a fish, and they can't wear the whole thing. Let's look at the Little Mermaid, for example. Speaking of fish, we got us a Bruxish. It is a psychic type, which means our Echo will be partly weak, but we can also go for the Giga Drain. How much can we do to this thing? That's some nice damage right there. That's a tasty fish. If I catch you, I'm gonna call you Tasty Fish. Maybe I'm not. Oh, you got the Tough Jaws. No, Strong Jaw, I believe the ability is called. We're running low on the Giga Drains, too. We gotta get out of the water soon. But I do think there's a Pokemon Center very handy. And we can go get ourselves an encounter as well after healing up. Nice. Oh, Stormy! Yeah, no, no the water's actually pretty calm. Oh, you meant the battle? Clearly. I just want to dissolve away right here, just like Vaporeon. Using the old acid armor to melt into the water. It's kind of gross, isn't it? Acid armor, and you melt into, like... You know, I know this is salt water here, right? But if it was a freshwater source, Vaporeon could melt as acid. That's not right. That's pretty gruesome. Acid in your water. Uh, what? Ugh, another battle? Alright, we're out of the water. We can switch out from... Echo. Ghosty needs the experience most. Let's go with Ghosty. We're going to take down this Ace Trainer. What do you have? Hey, hey, come on out here, my Pokemon. Do as she says. Let's see what you got. I'm sure Ghosty can handle anything you've got to offer us in battle. Carla, you got three Pokemon. All weak to grass, right? There's one weak to grass. Just kidding. It's a Lolan. It's ice. But I know from training Igaloo that this thing does not have any ice attacks, at least nothing physical ice. I'm hoping that anyway. That's Shadow Claw. It's got pretty decent defense, but we have critical possibilities. We got Iron Head. What's that gonna do? A somewhat fair amount. A critical drops us, but I don't think you're getting critical before us. We didn't get ours yet. Since when could you learn Ice Ball? Am I missing something? Or wait, no, could you always learn that and I just didn't like it because it's a terrible move? That could be it. I don't remember. Haunter. This presents a problem. This is what lost us our Decidueye. So let us... Huh, let's polarize this thing. It's almost like I said pulverize this thing. I could have called it Pulverize, but I didn't. I was also thinking I could have also nicknamed it Polaris, because it's like, you know, polar, right? The uh, magnetic pole kind of thing. 
And let's just go with our flash cannon. Let's see if this thing is a glass cannon. It hurts decently, of course, as most Haunter do, but Flash Cannon drops it in a single hit. Very nice. Last Pokemon coming in. Is it going to be weak to our Electric type? No, but it's weak to our Steel type. And what can you do to us? I shouldn't play Risky. I should heal. Let's go. I still didn't buy any Hyper Potions. Come on. Okay, we're at the Pokemon Center next. We're going to go do that. We gotta heal, we gotta buy, and then there's an encounter. We didn't need to heal. Just has Dazzling Gleam. Let's just go ahead and flash cannon this thing, or should I go for the Charge Beam boost first? Nah, let's just end this off. There we go. I find it funny in Pokemon Go, too. I know I talk about it a lot, but it's, it's a big part of what I do every day. It's kind of cool how the Pokemon only have an attack and defense stat. They don't have it split for, like, uh, physical special. So you see Pokemon with attacks that normally they would never want to use. Like, I've got a uh, Magneton that has... What is it? Uh, what is that move called? Ah, uh, Magnet Bomb, I think it is. That being a physical type attack, it's like you would never want to use that on a specially offensive Pokemon. Alright everybody, back inside your Pokeballs. Yeah, Magnet Bomb, that's it. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of funny to see Pokemon with like, you'd think, hey, that could be a move I could teach my guy in 3DS. No, don't. Sometimes they're a bad idea. Ah, it's so nice out. Alright, what's going on down here? Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. What's wrong? This mysterious Pokemon, Starmie, it's my buddy, but it really loves staring contests. It's got no eyes. It's been doing staring contests for a week. I want to go home, but it won't move an inch unless it loses. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Starmie has met its match in the other water psychic type of Gen 1. The stare down. Slow. Did it actually win? Enough of your cry of triumph. Let's go home, shall we? Sha sha! Ah, seriously? You still want to do staring contests? Is there a Pokemon that can beat my Starmie? If there were a Pokemon that knew Tickle. It would be able to beat my Starmie instantly, but that's not... Let's just go take a look at the old PC, see if we can help this guy out. No stickers still, really. Alright. Let's take a look. We're gonna heal up first of all. I gotta buy... Potions. Why is Team Skull here? Questions must be answered in today's episode before we're done. We got less than 10 minutes, I think. Again, I should set a stupid alarm thing on my phone so I know. All right, let's buy ourselves some stuff. We gotta get some hypers. Use, ah, we're good for super potions. I can probably, I got 30 Pokeballs, we're good for there. Uh, let's grab, can I get 10? I'll go for 20, yeah, I'll get 20. Oh, no, I don't want one. I think that's good. All right, so what's going on in this uh, Pokemon Center? First of all, let's see. Does anybody know Tickle? Kind of doubt that they do. But, okay, can we just check right here? We got Tackle. That's close. I wonder if that would count. How much do you want to bet we don't have a Tickle Pokemon? I mean, technically, our Ditto could transform into a Pokemon with Tickle, you know? Shouldn't that count? And I do not see Tickle yet. Does not look like it, no. All right, so for the time being, no go on that, but we'll see if we can get a Pokemon later that does have Tickle, but let's talk to these folks. The ability of Marini and Toxapex, Merciless, makes attacks always res result in critical hits if the target's poisoned. It's very mean, isn't it? Yeah, mean. See, Stuffle agrees. All right, what's going on, Team Skull? Wait, 
Why is the Aether Foundation standing here next to Team Skull? I thought they were enemies. Even with the same drink, the flavor is different in each cafe. Looks like you're very familiar with cafes. I like you. Take this. A free lemonade. Thank you. I keep forgetting I have other healing stuff other than the potions. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Want to do a little job for me? Sure. Information about Garchomp. Want you to catch a Garchomp and show me the data that your Pokedex records for it. I saw it in the Heine Desert, but I haven't been able to find it. Well, I can't even get in there yet, but I can go there later. Moo! Moo! I'm talking to you! Moo Moo Milk, because I'm too busy to chew! Yo, yo, I want to drink it down! I want Moo Moo Milk, and I want it now! Hey, now, look! What do we got here? I'm going to make this kid run away in fear! No more drinks at the cafe for you, because I'll be gone when Team Skull rolls through. You want to come to the cafe? You better come correct. My Pokemon skills you have to respect. Are you going to battle me in the Pokemon Center? No way. This is not the place. Yo, yo, old cafe dude. Bring the Moo Moo Milk or I'll have to get rude. Bring me all the milk you have in the store. And go to Paniola Ranch and get me some more. I want to talk to these two. Oh, those Team Skull ruffians. They're so noisy. Doing all this just to get attention. What are they, children or something? Alright. I guess i got to fight them. But you can't challenge me in the Pokemon Center. Let's take this outside. There's injured Pokemon here. In fact, mine are injured. Alright, let's do this, yo. Blur. Did you just drink his stuff down? He's battling me in the Pokemon Center! That's not allowed! This guy's disqualified. Well, let's send him running in fear. And let's actually get that Moo Moo Milk afterwards. He's got one Pokemon. It's garbage. It's literal garbage. Hi, Trubbish. I like Trubbish. Trubbish is cool. So, we got us a poison type, which we can burn. I usually don't like to burn garbage, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. A sludge bomb does nothing! Of course, the burn won't lessen that damage, though. So, let's just go for our critical shadow claws. You've triggered my. What is it? Think of it like a, a contract. You've triggered my shadow claws. <laughs> Don't poison me! Alright, I deserve that for my pun. I will accept that. Because we have that option. And one more Shadow Claw. Get you down. Are you going to poison me again? I don't even think so. See? I knew it. We were good. Goodbye, Trubbish. Sorry to do that to you. I like Trubbish. Trubbish is neat. I don't care what anybody says. My stomach! My stomach's all weak, yo! I don't think I can handle this, yo! That wasn't even on tempo. It wasn't even on beat. Speaking of beat... Oh man, we got beat down in the mud, yo! Hang on there, ghosty. It's weird that Sludge Bomb leaves mud behind. Other poison moves do that, too. Like Acid. Our Arbok would get covered in uh, mud all the time that he would use Acid, remember? Ugh, my belly. Sounds like it's using Rumble. That's not even a move. Hey, yo, kid, my payback will be vicious. But at least for now, this Moo Moo Milk is delicious. I kind of want some milk. Thanks, now I'm... I was going to say hungry. Eh, not really. Drink too much of anything, even Moo Moo Milk, and this is what happens. You may be feeling a bit put off after all that, but here's some Moo Moo Milk for you, too. Just what I was looking for. I got me a milk. Even Pokemon know better than to guzzle milk like that when they're already healthy. What do you say? Pokemon with a receiver ability takes over the ability of a defeated ally, so its ability will become the same as the fainted allies. Okay, cool. So let's get ourselves something else. What do we want? I'll take another Moo Moo Milk. 198 bucks? That's just like every other cafe. So I'm not surprised. Any advice for what's coming up? One Moo Moo Milk just for you. In the old days, Moo Moo Milk was regarded as a, as a highly nutritious medicine. If you drink two cups a day, other than the occasional tummy ache, you'll be the picture of health. What do you think of that Mantine surfing? Some people seem to think it's a bit of fun, and some, other take it, some others take it as seriously as any battle. Either way, facing off against the wild waves of nature throws your way. I can't read. With only the moves you can pull off together with a Pokemon. The scale of it simply takes my breath away. Yeah, I wanted to show you Mantine surfing, but we're pretty much at time, so I'll probably maybe start the next episode with that. I want to get this encounter, though, before we end off. Also, there's more berries I can get, too. So let's avoid trainers if possible. Let's see what our encounter on this route is going to be. 
hopefully something new. I just heard Eradicate. I don't think we have a Rattata yet, though. I know we don't have this yet. Wild Scraggy. Never seen this Pokemon! Alright. What do we do to it? Ghosty is not healed up. I should have healed. I didn't even think about this. Hmm. I could try... Excuse me. The Tri-Attack. Get a condition. See, I keep hoping the Tri-Attack is going to give them like Paralysis or Freeze. Watch the first time we actually get a special condition, it be the uh, Burn Root. Which will then knock it out. That would be nice. If by nice, I mean a sarcastic kind of nice. Let's try... Attack. Chip away, we resist it! We can't chip away our metal type, our steel type. We're a big metal orb. Ah! Ah! Wouldn't you know, the first Pokemon that we do manage to get one of those conditions on with Tri Attack for capture purposes has shed skin! We still caught it though. I mean, it could have been worse. So what would you like to see as a nickname for a Scraggy? Leave a comment down below and I can rename it by the uh, start of the next episode. I still gotta go back and check out the other comments too. I will do that. As soon as I'm done this, I'll do that. Once I get myself a nice glass of Moo Moo milk. Alright, added Scraggy to the Pokedex. Scraggy, the shedding Pokemon. They move in small groups, walking around lazily. Anyone who makes eye contact gets smacked with a headbutt. That doesn't sound very nice. That sounds kind of rude, actually. That sounds like a Team Skull Pokemon, just the way that they said that. All right, well, check the summary. No. Oh, wait. It joins the team, because, of course, we have an empty spot. But it's not on the team just yet. we got to wait and see if you guys... Actually, yeah, I'll do a recap in the Pokemon Center, because you guys have to leave a comment. Which Pokemon should we add to our team to make up for the loss of our Decidueye? Or maybe I should hold off on adding a Pokemon until after the next trial, because that's when the grinding is going to happen. Anyway, let's check out our Scraggy. We're going to have to check it all right here. Lacks nature, ability to shed skin, and the moves are Brick Break, Chip Away, High Jump Kick, and Scary Face. Alright, so you, my little shedding friend, are going to go in here for the time being. So again, check out the Pokemon on the bottom screen here. See what we have for an option for a new team member, and you can check out the bottom screen here as well. All these Pokemon are options also. But with that, we are going to end off the episode. I'm going to pop... I'm going to heal, actually, while I talk. If you enjoyed today's episode, of course, feel free, as always, to leave a like down below. Feel free to share this with any of your friends who might want to check out some of my adventures through the Alola region of Gen 7, Round 2, as I call it, because, of course, we did the Pokemon Moon playthrough already. If you want to see some more episodes of the playthrough, there's a link in the description to the playlist. You can go and check that out and get caught up on everything thus far. And for some more Pokemon content, you can go to the, uh, the outro or you can just wait for the outro to start playing. Click on some links to uh, the other videos if you'd like to see them, and you can also subscribe to the channel for some more daily Pokemon content. But with that, I'm clearly getting tongue-tied and messing stuff up. Let's end off right now. Professor Chaz is signing off. Thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.